Mr. Banabesu, we are sending off a young man with a beautiful smile, beautiful eyes who touched so many lives in a short space of time. This morning we bring before you, Father, our broken hearts. The funeral service for Ekten Posibeng, who tragically lost his life in a car crash on May the 5th, was held on Saturday at Rema Bible Church in Johannesburg. May the 9th, not just another day, but one where we witness the community unite in grief and celebration of Bo's life. The service led by host Aubrey Paul marked a profound gathering of family, friends and fans who came together to bid farewell and celebrate the life of a remarkable individual. The funeral was made special with several musical tributes, notably the West Ridge High School Choir. When Paul started, they performed beautifully. It is often said that life is unpredictable. Their song filled the church and many people were moved to stand up, sing along and even dance to the memory of Paul. One of the most touching moments was when both sister Li Hang read a letter from their parents. The letter shared lovely memories and heartfelt emotions about Mpo's life and the joy he brought to those around him. Part of the letter said, Mpo, you lived up to your name, Fanam. The Bible says, Blessed is the hand that giveth. Our life is the manifestation of the scripture as I witness the blessing you were. Too many lives here to celebrate you. We are proud of you. We want you to know that you made us proud. My boy, you lived dreams your ancestors could not even fathom. You fulfilled every destiny effortlessly. Please promise me, Mfana, that you'll come visit us and tell us what happened. Another powerful moment during the service was when Bo's mother danced on stage and around his coffin. Accompanied by Zion Choir, her dance was a touching expression of celebrating a son's life and the emotional strength she showed was moving for everyone who attended. The ceremony saw a lot of notable celebrities, musicians and former colleagues, the likes of Thomas Gumede, Natasha Tahane, Mr. Jazzy Q, Pretty Ugly and his wife, Wantlimu Disele, Dineo Moiketi, Warren Masimola, amongst others. Several of Mbo's friends spoke during the service, sharing stories that captured his kind spirit, his laughter and the memorable times they spent together. I would like to believe that I have had the best years from Mpo's life. I have danced with my heart open and my soul open. I have sung with my heart open and my soul open. I've experienced the best years of Mpo. You know, I used to call him Kendrick. Hats and our on set when we worked together, I used to say, we going to be a hype. Are yes, sir. And I know Mpo had a lot of best friends, but I'm taming this one. <laughs> I have a story about his, his beautiful smile and his teeth. So he'd smile. Why are we not getting braces, my nigga? <laughs> and he's like, who am I doing that for, bro? I know who I am and I'd like to show up as the most authentic version of myself to this universe. And from that day, Harabadabatibadi Prince is like, ah, look at that one. Now we're judging people <laughs> for trying to just perfect, have a perfect smile in this world that we're living in, you know. I took him to a strip club. I respect you, my parents. In Lagos, Nigeria, Mpo and I had a lot of fun. We came back, we told Vele about it. She was jealous. We did a lot, Mpo. We had so much fun, Mpo. Mpo was such a loving young man. I really do not have words because what was ours was ours. We experienced it. You experienced it the last time when we were at the house. I thought Mpo Wanyala. Kante, he was given thanks to life because no holy, it was up, it was lit. Kara, where's the girl? Or Mansetsa Mahadi. And we laughed about it and we said, Mpo, or Twansi, we didn't want because Umushimane fell, like he, no, Vele on a Lemwana, Kena Lemwana, Hushota Wayna, Aroke, Ramwana, Kitaroma Wayna, Lunsa Mahadi, Kitoma Mahadi, and Zanamawani. Mpo. 
I love you boy Jor atasan Sina silinde lusu Gue Each story highlighted how much he meant to them and positive impact he had on their lives. John Mahoma, a family member, talked about Bo not just as a personal loss but as a loss for the entire country. He noted Bo as a significant impact and expressed how much he would be missed. Aubrey Paul, the host, wrapped up the service by encouraging everyone to remember Bo for his kindness, humor and creativity. He urged everyone to let Bo's life inspire them moving forward. In a moving finale, everyone in the church joined the choir to sing together, a stirring moment that showcased the community's love and farewell for Umpo. This act of unity was strong testament to the life and spirit of Mpo among his community. The funeral service celebrated not just Mpo Sibeng's achievements as an actor, but also his qualities as a person. It was evident from the music, dances, and stories shared that he had a lasting effect on many lives. As the service concluded, it was clear that he had left a remarkable legacy. The Peg Church and the emotional tributes showed how cherished he was. Though his life was cut short, the memories and the impact of his vibrant spirit will live on in the hearts of those who knew him. In Paul, wherever he is, looking down on his boys, he can confirm as he was a swagalicious chap, he can say, boys, Lintrumpili. You know, Brother Joe, when I saw him poor park his car, that has a roof that could go down. I said, Bafana, what's a man got this car? Hey. Yeah, no. Uli I hope you know your lines. I see this up next. All swagging, swagging to the brimming. What up, <laughs> What's good, my What's way? Good, Are you nice? I'm good. Looking Look good, at you kid. dripping all the time, my homie. <laughs> <laughs> the three hours memorial service for Umpo was unforgettable. Despite its length, the time seems to pass quickly because of the powerful and emotional moments shared. It was a service that will be remembered for years to come as it captured the essence of honoring Umpo's life in a meaningful and impactful way. The memories created during those hours will linger vividly, making it a service that truly left a lasting impression on all who attended. As people were saying their last goodbyes and take him to his final resting place at West Park Cemetery, there was a strong feeling of love and memory in the air. Although Paul's life was short, it was very meaningful and touching the hearts of many people. The speeches, music and strong sense of community all showed how much people appreciated his life and contributions. Those last moments of the service reminded everyone that we were not just saying goodbye but celebrating Paul's lasting influence, a reflection of his vibrant life, the many lives he affected and the unforgettable memories he leaves behind. His spirit shared through the day's tribute will keep inspiring and impacting others, keeping his memory alive and cherished in the community. Yeah.